What's up guys, what to keep with another Marvel Strike Force video and in this video we are back to talk about Peter B. Parker and how to unlock him through Blitz. He's going to have an event next week which has two Blitz components to it. So it's going to be very important that you have the latest and greatest Blitz teams in order for you to be successful on this upcoming event as this is going to be a very very important character not only is part of spider society which is the the new skill rate team it's also the skill rate team that you are going to use for the next year and uh, according to scopely they are going to increase the rewards for the rate season rewards and that is going to allow you to get to dark dimension six or seven seven Dark Dimension 7 and unlock Mephisto faster. So if you want to get your Mephisto as fast as possible, we really want to make sure that you get as many character shards on Peter B. Parker as possible. So in this video, we are going to take a look on how much you have to Blitz and also what are the new Blitz teams. And then I'm going to give you the code for you to copy those teams for yourself. This is going to be to the website, but we're going to break down step by step everything that you have to do so as always if you like the information on these videos make sure you share it with your friends on facebook and discord if you're new to my channel make sure you subscribe for more mouse cyphers content and make sure you smash that like button like a boss okay so once again peter b parker is going to be very very important for the near future as he's part of the spider society a must have team for uh, whichever raids you are doing whether it is incursion raids or the future raids, which might be called the Incursion Tree or Mephisto raids, is definitely going to be important for that. It will allow you once again to unlock Mephisto faster as they are increasing the raid season rewards. And they are also going to give more points if you complete the raids by 100%. So it's definitely going to matter if uh, you have uh, all your teams up and running or not. Now, Taking a look at the blog, you can see right here the event for him is going to be Earthlings Needed and he's going to have a Blitz component which is going to last for 48 hours and this is going to, you can see right here, you'll have a quick rumble for 48 hours on Friday and Saturday where you're going to earn Blitz points by non-stop Blitzing. So this is going to be eight rotations per day plus two additional rotations if you can do it depending on your time zone and then you also have the daily revenge of the blitz yes revenge of the blitz yeah it actually sounds hilarious and this is going to be daily yes this is going to be daily you have to do this daily because you have a, a recurring event you can see right here that uh, every day it repeats and because it repeats every day, it means you have to get uh, this every day. So earn Blitz credits. This is going to be 2,500. On average, this is going to be two rotations of Blitz where you always have to win. Otherwise, it's going to be three Blitz rotations that you have to do daily in order to match this, this amount of Blitz credits. This is going to allow you to earn... Uh, uh, the milestones point milestone points for the events but also orbs that should give you character shards for peter b parker how many shards probably not a lot thanks for the sub probably not a lot of shards but uh, anything you can get the the better because the rewards are pretty decent we'll break down the event in a, another video don't want to make this one too long so once again two blitz components one daily and the other one in saturday and friday okay now let's take a look in game at the the blitz teams that we have just really quick we're gonna see what uh, what changed since the last time we had the blitz event since then we had cabal and cabal definitely helped out uh, you making new blitz teams so you can see right here we still have scroll this one uncanny we changed it a little bit and now we put the leader with the Masters of Evil and Nobu. And this is because the leader gives additional block chance, uh, crit chance, uh, crit damage, and that helps out uh, the Masters of Evil. So this is the first change that we had since, uh, since the last time we did uh, some Blitzing. 
Here we have an adjustment to the X-Men Teamers. This is the same, pretty much the same. Now we have Kanga with Marauders. This allows us to, to use the Emma Frost elsewhere with the, with the Cabal. Here we have Anti-Venom as well instead of Crossbones. This is to balance out now the, the amount of symbiotes that we also have. This is the same. Here I have Peter B. Parker, but if you don't have him, you just can you can put literally any minion and it's gonna be fine. I put cable together with Taskmaster just to be more consistent, making sure that Taskmaster always goes first. And uh, we have a few more changes. Everything else is pretty much the same as as you guys know, like this is the, the best blitz teams you can do right now. Nightcrawler with astonishing, this is nothing new. And then we have this one. Uh, now, Ghost Spider is even better than she was before because of the, the key changes and the reworks. So there we go. Castle with these guys. We already seen that before. We have this one. So this is something that we adjusted. We put uh, Ive Mine together with Scream and together with the uh, with the symbiote Spider-Man. Red Goblin still revives the other guys if they die. And uh, this allows you to have uh, two teams of symbiotes, both of them with uh, speed mechanics. So this is actually quite great to balance out uh, your uh, Blitz teams. And uh, here we have uh, the other Cabal members. So Iron Patriot with Neymar plus Emma Frost, uh, Toad and the Blob really make a very strong team. They are very, very fast and they have enough damage and uh, mechanics in order to beat uh, any kind of Blitz teams. And uh, beyond that, uh, I think we have just one adjustment with uh, with Apocalypse now. So there we have Superior Six. Okay, so now we have Moonstone and uh, Apocalypse. Moonstone, she doesn't provide much to the Masters of Evil, and that's why we put uh, the leader there. And uh, Apocalypse carries Moonstone and uh, Minerva, right? Then we have the Eternals. Okay, we have seen that before. The Weapon X, they're still working fine. Black Order, uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider, and Star Brand. You actually want to make sure that your Star Brand is in the corner where Cosmic Ghost Rider is, just to make sure that um, they have the drain. Otherwise, they might not have the drain. And uh, beyond that, uh, Extreme, three of them. Then you have Unlimited with uh, Kitty Pride. Kitty Pride, right now, pretty decent. If you don't have her, like, super big. The team still works because the dam uh, Gambit carries the damage. And uh, then we have Quicksilver with Mr. Negative. We have seen this before. Uh, Silver Surfer, you want to put Silver Surfer with the smallest minions possible because he can carry, but uh, but not big characters. And then we have Black Knight also carrying a bunch of minions. This one is easy. So there we go. So in total, we have like eight or ten changes to the teams some of them uh, are just to balance out the other ones are to make uh, use of the new characters and uh, overall once again you're gonna have some very good results with these blitz teams okay so now how can you get uh, these blitz teams so you want to go to the website uh, once again you want to go to marvelstrikeforce.com just press here in the sign if you have this page save it somewhere else for example on the blogs or something like that then you have to log in with your scopely account just like this it has to show up your name and your alliance then you want to go to save squads okay so we are on save squads you want to go to your blitz section blitz section you want to select all and then you want to delete. So select all and delete. Now I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to select all. So you can see select all. And I'm going to share. So there we go. We have the code right here. Click on this code. Now on your end, you want to go now to import. You want to import. You want to press on import down here. Import. You're going to paste that code. And you're going to press OK. That is going to push all the teams from my roster. Then you can once again select all, copy. You go back to your Blitz section, okay? And uh, assuming that you deleted all of them, you are just going to press paste. Because if you do it otherwise, you don't have enough space. And it's not going to paste uh, all the teams. And uh, then you paste. And that's it. You have all the teams ready to go. The teams should be balanced in terms of power. And uh, what I mean by this is that uh, 
the the teams should be separated by 10% 11% of power and this allows you to shuffle the enemies a lot faster and uh, this allows you to if you are not able to beat the team you can switch it around and then you're going to be able to do it much faster and uh, overall i had a great experience using these teams i've been using them for quite a while and uh, they are tested out they are all very well balanced so this should definitely help you to be successful on this upcoming event for uh, peter b parker peter b parker once again very very important character if you want to get mephisto faster this is the way to go you want to be successful as much as possible on this event and for that you are going to require the best blade teams so there we go so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you smash that like button and if you found the video helpful make sure you share it with your friends on facebook and discord if you're new to my channel make sure you subscribe for more mouse life force content and i'll catch you guys later